Rangers? Uh, I, I took 68. I didn't miss any, but three of them were saved. Uh, the first one was saved was against uh, Walker of Airdrie. I don't think it mattered to the result of the game. The second one I missed was against Slater of Falkirk at Ibrox. That's the only penalty I ever missed at Ibrox. The third penalty was against Jimmy Brown of Kilmarnock. Uh, I put it in the other corner and he dived and saved it. Then we were on a coaching course that year, 58 it was, 1958. And he was bumming about saving my penalty. I said, Jimmy, away into goals there. I'll take 10 penalties against you, and I bet you a quid you don't save one. You're on, wee man. So in he went. First one, I put in his right-hand corner. He dived left. Second one in his right-hand corner. He dived left. He kept saying, this wee bugger's going to put one in this corner. <laughs> And I kept saying, no, this wee bugger's not going to put one in there. And I took ten and put them in that corner, and then he dived that way ten times. <laughs> and you got your quid? Eh? No, I didn't get my quid, <laughs> but I got satisfaction. Yeah, <laughs> it's Alec Ferguson at the turn of the century, at the 20th century, different people were asked, what's the best penalty, what's the best goal you've ever seen? And Alec Ferguson said, uh, Rangers versus Celtic, Hubbard's hat trick, his first goal. He got the ball from uh, John Little just outside his own box, beat Hockney, Evans, Steen, Peacock, um, Michin. The goalkeeper came out, I've even forgotten his name now. He came out, waltzed around him, and walked the ball into the net. I remember writing in one book a most vivid memory of the greatest, greatest goal I'd ever seen and I would be about 13 years of age and went to Ibrox Park to see the Celtic Rangers New Year's Day game. And of course these games, as you can imagine, an incredible atmosphere and tension. But Johnny got a ball just outside of the Rangers' pillow box and meandered by two or three. But then we got to the serious business of attacking the last defenders. They beat three of them, including the goalkeeper. I remember the goalkeeper's name. His name was Bell. Um, and it was, I think it was Meekin was at left back. Um, uh, Ali Bowden, I think it was another player he beat. And I think it was Bobby Evans he'd beat. And these were all good players, you know. And but he'd run the, the, almost the length of the field to score into the Rangers' end too. Or we were behind, you know. It was one of my, my favourites of Rangers, I must say. That was uh, a great memory of Johnny when he's in his playing days with Rangers. Interesting. It's been a delight, Michael. Mm -hmm.